Hi, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening. Just to show you a little video, I got some trimmers in today finally. Um, I can repair them all. Um, so this is a wall detailer. First thing I noticed, well, they pointed out also that their case is broken. Um, so yeah, this is the old style case. Or actually it's the new style case because it got these inserts. Don't ask me why they went to that make more money, I don't know, but uh, they're pretty good clippers for how cheap they are. Or a rotary motor, they're not magnetic like most little trimmers, like Anis G's or Styliners or uh, AE, uh, T-Edgers. They're all vibrating, this is rotary. Show you the so we take it apart. So I might as well just check and see if it runs. And it does. Okay, so this is a rotary motor. It has a field and it spins. It doesn't just vibrate back and forth, it spins. So this is like off shape and If that's blown, you're gonna need a switch and you might as well replace the motor because what happens is why that blows is it has too much load on this PC board and it's usually because these motors go bad. Um, you don't want any corrosion. Um, I'm looking for my oil. There it is. And you want to get your blade sharpened on these a lot. It's very important. Because when that blade gets residue on it, see, I just sharpen these. See how smooth and flat it is? That's good. Look how easy that moves. I know you can't feel it, but I can. Move super easy. I'm barely even. So when that gets residue on it and you keep running that clipper, this clipper is just getting more, this is getting hotter and hotter and hotter until the motor. Uh, either shorts out or the switch shorts out. So it's good to always get these sharpened and they'll last a lot longer. And serviced or um, at least oiled that front bearing every once in a while. Okay, so let's get to work. Take, take it all out of there. Take your insert out of there. Because we'll need that again. If your case doesn't have inserts, then it's the old style, and you'll need to buy the inserts. Um, the customer had his own case. This will work. It's a different color, but same uh, newer model. So you put these. So see the little notch right, right there? That's where the spring is going to rest, so put that up, facing up. What I do is I get a little bitty screwdriver, stick it down in the hole, and then try to pry it up that way. They're sort of tricky to do sometimes. So yeah, the little notch is up. The little notch is up top. That's good. You want that up top because the spring is a little area for the spring. Put it in at the right time. I'll show you at the right time. Go ahead and put the motor back in. Go ahead and put the switch and the cord back into place. Then you take the back of this case and there's a hole in it where the switch goes. Just go ahead and slide the switch through it now. Okay. And then just edge the back down. Okay, you leave the front up a little bit. See how it's open? That's good. 
Well, hold on. I forgot the bell here. Hold on. Get that. Even though, no, 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 I don't think anyone uses them. You can see the back's down again with the bell in. Take this cam or blade guide with the springs in there. And then push it up until it goes underneath that little black lip. If this little black lip is broken, this won't stay in. See, when I push the case together, it stays in. If, if it's broken down in there, this won't stay in. And you'll have to replace this black piece that's uh, on top of the case. But I don't have to do that, so... Because this one isn't broken. when you replace your blade you don't want to have to take your clipper apart every time just to replace the blade because that will fly out and then you have to put it back in or it ain't going to run right. I'm going to test this way because I just sharpened it. It's going to be real embarrassing if it doesn't work. detailer running 100% that's what I like to see all right uh, this is a wall detailer it's a barber trimmer um, have a good day YouTube and um, keep it sharp keep it run and 100% that is your only option bye